Hello, this is Ford Brewer with PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, disability prevention. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on a mimicked fasting product. The product's called Lifebox. It's actually a, um, a cost-effective competitor to Prolon. We did a, 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 an unboxing and a day two on Prolon recently. But first of all, what are these products? What's mimicked fasting? What's it for? Is it weight loss or are there other things associated with it? And what's the science behind it? So let's go through some of that and then we'll unbox uh, our food for the next five days. And again, that's not a lot of food for five days. Well, <clears throat> First of all, is there science behind it? Well, there's a fellow named Walter Longo. I've mentioned him in several other videos. He's a, a uh, PhD, one of the leading, um, I guess you would call him a gerontologist uh, biochemist in the world right now. He's focused on this topic of mim mimicked fasting. Um, He's at USC Davis, University of Southern California, Davis. The whole idea, look, it's an interesting thing about how this came up. There was a project a couple of decades ago that I didn't even know about until reading on this thing and watching the TED Talk by, uh, by Walter Longo. It's a, the Biosphere Project. You had, uh, what, a dozen people or so, plus a lot of plants, go into this biosphere that they built. I believe it was for two years. This is the, uh, this is the folks going into the biosphere that was out west, I believe it was Arizona. And here's what, here's what stimulated the whole uh, scientific thought about mimicked fasting. One, the, one of the gentlemen that went in there was a professor who ended up being a, um, a mentor for Dr. Walter Longo. His name was Roy Walford. These are three pictures. This is um, prior to going into the uh, biosphere. This is after his uh, time in the biosphere, many months, and this is six months later. So the comparison point is here. Uh, there was the perception that he actually, after recovering from the fasting period or near starvation period, he actually became younger. So they, they began to start looking at, or biologically younger. So they said, you know what? Maybe there's some truth to this. Maybe there's some biochemical stuff going on. In fact, here's the theory that uh, there are genes that shut off uh, on and off other genes in our metabolism and that's true uh, controller genes um, and these genes actually get stimulated after a period of, um, of starvation or, or uh, fasting they can even be uh, stimulated after mimicked fasting and again there's plenty of other uh, research going on around this area. A lot of these genes are associated with aging, so after a few decades some of these cell respir uh, respiration genes start um, slowing down. Research around it? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, this, this is a um, an illustration of some of the impact that you have on uh, some blood cells inflammation, stem cells. There's been significant amplification of stem cell uh, quantity and activity post-fasting. Now here's the thing that created a lot of buzz in the press. Uh, anything from New York Times to uh, several other different uh, media, public media, lay media. <clears throat> he actually uh, created type 1 diabetes in mice there's a thing called strep, uh, a chemical called streptozosin. You, you inject it in mice and it wipes out their beta cells. He put these mice through three episodes of mimicked fasting. It wasn't complete fasting. It wasn't like a water fast. Uh, four days 
uh, once a month for three months, and they grew their beta cells back. He's actually done this with human, uh, human beta cells in petri dishes and saw, again, rejuvenation of those beta cells. There's uh, research going on around cancer in that area as well. So is it, a, is it totally proven? No. Uh, do I think there's good science there? There's clearly good science there. Um, are there any other uh, purposes for this? <laughs> or should we just wait and see? Well, I'll tell you what, if you look at uh, the research behind Proline itself, um, yeah, it does appear to have a significant impact on uh, weight loss, too, if you're having problems managing your weight. And, and in fact, when you look at the patient population that we've had that have used these products, it's, uh, what, maybe a little over half are not using it for weight. The ones that are using it for weight management are... are um, finding a significant uh, impact there and a significant ability to control food intake. So what now Proline <clears throat> is something that was developed by Dr. Longo himself. He likes to make the point he's not making any money off of it. He's uh, any money that's made off of his um, Proline product is uh, actually given to nonprofits. So that was the Proline product. This is a life product. Now why, why did, uh, what created the market niche for life product in the first place? Well, Proline is five days worth of food and uh, it's 250 to 300 bucks. So a lot of people balk at that kind of price, especially when you think about doing that once a month for three months and then once a quarter after that. So some enterprising uh, young individuals start saying, look, you know what, there may be better ways, especially when you start opening that uh, Proline box and finding out what's in it. Maybe there are less expensive ways to m provide access. And, and sure enough, there are. There's no question about that. When I do my box opening for Lifebox, and Lifebox is more in the uh, low to mid 100s in terms of price, um, kale chips. Both of them have kale chips, and again, I haven't tried the Life Box one yet. I did try the Proline. I did actually feel significantly better uh, after that one week of Proline, and I'm going to try this. I expect I'll probably feel better after one week of this too. Now here was a. It's not a non-starter, but it's. Um, not great for me. I, uh, I'm insulin resistant. So, uh, yes, I can eat oatmeal. Um, but I gave up oatmeal a while back. I used to, I always traveled a lot. So a lot of airport, um, areas had oatmeal and I ate a lot of oatmeal. Once you become insulin resistant though, especially instant oatmeal like this does have a, an impact on your glucose levels. Let me stop for a minute and make a comment about glucose levels and insulin resistance. Now, <clears throat> um, Proline actually uh, uses uh, medical providers as a channel. In other words, you can't get uh, Proline without um, going through a medical provider. I think a lot of that's associated with liability. They're, they know that there are a lot of diabetics who are interested in trying this to see what sort of impact it might have on their diabetes. Um, Lifebox does not. Lifebox says, no, uh, you, can act, you can purchase our product without, having, uh, without going through a doc. Now, <clears throat> uh, we've done plenty of screening for those. If someone's on insulin or... Um, some of the other medications that actually lower glucose, um, they need to be careful taking these and, and uh, need to do that under medical supervision if they do it at all. Um, metformin is a little bit different. Most people don't know that metformin doesn't really lower the blood uh, glucose. It just keeps the liver from making new blood glucose. And as you can see from other videos that I've done, Metformin also actually may have more of an impact on us by changing our gut biome. Anyhow, I, I take metformin. I have insulin resistance. 
I will continue taking metformin through the next five days, even though I'm going to be doing uh, stuff like this and cutting my calories. A quick comment about calories. In these fasting mimicked diets, you go uh, typically day one about 1,200 calories, days two, three, four, and five about seven or 800 calories. They tend to go a little bit more uh, towards uh, carb-related calories and away from protein and fat-related calories. Um, according to the research uh, done by Longo and others, it appears that uh, the protein and fat components of the diet um, tend to create some of this uh, biological stimulation of these pathways. Now, what else have we got in the in the box? A lot of kind bars. Have I got that upside down? I sure do. Kind bars. Uh, if you like kind bars, you'll you're gonna like this. There's some other things as well. Um, teas. Uh, both products have teas in them. Um, T E A. This product has a lot of gymnastima tea. Can't remember the name of the tea in the other one. It also has mushroom coffee. There's no coffee in uh, Prolon, but coffee in Lifebox. Um, both of them have some soups. This one has, this appears to be a quinoa meal. Oh. That looks pretty good. We'll see. Um, both of them use a good bit of nuts. Uh, Prolon had several bar, uh, bars. Basically, the consistency was a bar of the bar was once you bit into it, it was sort of like it broke apart into just components of broken up nuts, crushed and pressed together. Uh, a good bit of arm, uh, almond butter in Life Box. Didn't see it in. Um, in Proline. And again, more soup. This soup is uh, green chickpeas, chimichurra, etc. Now, if you look at the life box uh, material, uh, they do, in terms of product support, they do have one thing. They have like a half hour of, um, of health coaching with Austin Gill, the founder of the, of the company and the product. And I've seen some of Austin's stuff. I'm very impressed with what he does in terms of uh, coaching. You would think maybe you can't cover a whole lot in half an hour, but he does. I went through it with him. Again, more nuts, almonds, pistachios, more quinoa meals, more mushroom coffee. Let's hope you like mushroom coffee. Uh, Casey in my office has tried this as well as the Prolon. She was not a big fan of the mushroom coffee. Um, again, Austin Gill tells me that his mom helped him pick out these foods and they feel very, very uh, comfortable that these foods are good and that they're um, tasty and you'll enjoy it. <clears throat> and I will see. I bet I will like the almond butter and the almonds. I'm a big almond fan. Now, there was uh, one thing you may have noticed or remember from the other video. There's a little bit more do-it-yourself here. You get a you get a a document in the top of the life box which tells you how to eat, and that's a a, a picture of Austin Gill. If you'll hold on just a second, I'll show you the old. Proline box. The Proline box had a um, had some documents as well, but it has oops, so much for my production capacity on these videos, right? Uh, the Proline has a a box of food for every day, so there's a little bit more. Um, do-it-yourself component with Lifebox. But again, for a lot of people who don't want to pay 250 to 300 bucks for uh, five days of, of uh, tricking your body into thinking that you're not eating and who are more interested in paying in the low 100s, 
This looks like it may be a good solution. I'll let you know. Thank you.